Will Lee for Fishing Monthly Magazines here, and today I'm with Nathan Shaw at Mooloola Bar, Tellwater Media Day for the Yellowfin launch. How you doing, Nathan? I'm very well, thanks. How you doing, mate? Doing very well now. We're back on some calm water. It's pretty rough conditions out there. We've got about 20 knots southeasterly and 2.8 metre seas. In saying that, these new Yellowfin boats, they handled it beautifully. Tell us a little bit about the brand and where it all started. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we've had uh, a Yellowfin as a brand for quite a few years now, but recently what we've seen is an increase in popularity in the plate boat market. So um, you would have seen the multiple offerings out there by the other manufacturers. So what we decided to do was, was really revamp the Yellowfin brand. We've, we've added some new features, um, standard features, optional features, and um, design changes to, to make the boats more suitable and comfortable offshore. And, and yeah, definitely comfortable they were out there. So, um, so now there's a few sizes available. Run me through the range. What, have, what, what can the punters expect to see in the new Yellowfin range? Okay, well first of all, um, we start off with the 5800 hull and we do that in both a soft top and a hard top model. Next we have the 6200, then the 6700 and finally the flagship 7400 model. Um, and again, they're all available in both hard top and soft top models. Very good. Now, tell me about some of the hull hull design. We were uh, it was very rough out there today, and I noticed one thing that the hull is very very quiet on the water. What's what's the go with that? Well, the first change that we made was to extend the waterline length of the hull. It's been increased by about 200 millimetres at the transom, so we've got a much much bigger surface area, um, which gives us a lot more lift and stability. Um, in terms of making the ride softer, what we did is we put a 6mm plate on the bottom, a 5mm transom and 4mm sides. So the extra weight really helps when, you, when you're trying to punch through that, that chop and the swell that we've seen out there today. I noticed, um, I noticed the boat I was on the, the 6700 come fitted with the, the Volvo QL trim tabs. Now is that a standard feature on the Yellowfin boats? Or? Yes, absolutely. That's a standard feature across the whole range, whether it be the 580 up to, or the 740. You know, both soft top and hard top all come with standard trim tabs. Yep. Now, talk me through the electronics. The, the boats we had out today all had Simrad units. Is that a, a standard feature or is that an optional extra or, or what can the, uh, the Yellowfin buyer expect to come with their boat? Yeah, look, we have a we have a great partnership with Simrad. We we believe they're the best on the market in terms of your like electronics for your trailer boats. Um, so we we can actually offer most of the uh, sorry all of their products. And um, whether you want a small screen or large screen, just just talk to your dealer, and we can talk you through all the different options for for the Simrad. Now these really do seem like a boat that's built tough. I notice the checker plate floors, there are no nonsense offshore fishing rig. Is that, that the market that you're chasing is those serious offshore fishermen? Is that where you think the yellowfin sits within the Tellwater ranges? Yeah, absolutely. This, this thing's really built to take a beating. We've got fully welded floors. We've got um, a drainage system out the back with a gutter. So if you do take any waves on board, it's going to drain out, drain out nice and quickly. We've got standard features like a deck wash to wash away blood and guts, uh, live bait tank is standard, 110 litre kill tank is standard. Um, we've also got options for eskies which can be put under the seats as well. So plenty of storage for food and drink and fish that you catch as well. Um, these, these things are basically built as standard for a serious fisherman. And for those overnight trips or those extended trips, I noticed that the cabin in the Yellowfin boats seems bigger than some of the others I've seen. So tell me a little bit about the cabin cabin layout. Well, one of the things we wanted to do was, was really cater for that person who likes to go and spend a long time out on the water. And if that means overnighting, then you should be able to do that. So even in the small uh, 580 there, we have a 1.8 metre bunk, which I can lie down straight in. Um, and in the rest of the range, it's actually a two metre bunk. So plenty of space there if you want to do an overnight trip. I think that'd suit me perfectly. Uh, and uh, I had a look at the uh, the anchor well just before, and it looks like a serious bit of kit. There's plenty of room in there, and it looks hardcore. Tell me a little bit about the uh, the anchor well, and and can you get a drum winch in there? Yeah, for sure. So um, in in a lot of our other models at Tellwater, we use rotor molded tubs, uh, like we do for storage um, under the bunks and that sort of thing. But you know, given that this is supposed to be for the serious offshore fishermen, we've gone with fully welded in aluminium uh, anchor wells. And absolutely, they can take drum winches. Um, we can put you know a variety of different winches in there for you. Yep. Now, um, one of the dilemmas with a hard top, especially when you sort of get get further up north in the country, is uh, they kind of get a bit hot and humid. Is sliding windows included in this in this boat? 
Yeah, for sure. Like for those people who still want to go with a hard top, and we've got the sliding windows. But the key difference with these ones, um, as opposed to you know other hard top models out there, is that they slide backwards. So the front section of the window allows the air to flow in and actually hits the driver and the passenger. So you know it keeps you nice and cool in those hot and humid environments. Cool feature. Now all the boats that we're running today have got the Evinrude engines fitted, the G2s. I noticed that uh, Tellwater seemed to partner up with Evinrude a lot of the time. Tell me a little bit, a little bit about the engines and why it is that uh, you run the Evinrude engines. Yeah, well, as as you might have seen already, um, Evinrude recently released the G2, and it's a fantastic motor in terms of power, uh, fuel efficiency. It's, it's quiet. It's got power steering. I mean, I was offshore there today, and you can steer with one finger. It's so light. These things are just revolutionary. And if you need to know a bit more about them, I'd, I'd encourage you to check out the website. The, they're, a, they're the future of outboards. Very good. Um, now, the way it used to be set up was that uh, to buy a yellowfin boat, you had to go and see a, a special yellowfin dealer. You've changed the dealer network now with the relaunch of this product. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, for sure. Well, one of the things we wanted to do was, was really increase the brand awareness. And, and for us, the best way to do that was to offer the product to the whole Quintrex network. So you'll find that your local dealer, whether you be in Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, Adelaide, wherever, your local Quintrex dealer will be able to sell you a Yellowfin. Now, uh, we're coming into boat show season. I think we're kicking off in Melbourne, and then we're going Sydney, and then we're going Brisbane. Are we going to see Yellowfin boats on the floor at those events? Uh, I think so, I think so. Um, we, we had the dealer day yesterday, and they they absolutely loved it. We, we took orders yesterday for the 580, for the 740 hardtop most of the models in fact so yeah you'll definitely see the yellow fins at the shows so there you have it a brand new yellow fin range check it out at your nearest quintrex dealer